So today's topic is Tullosa Hunt syndrome. So definition. So Tullosa Hunt is a syndrome of painful ophthalmoplasia, consists of periorbital or hemicranial pain, ipsilateral ocular motor nerve palsies, ocular sympathetic paralysis, sensory loss in the distribution of the ophthalmic and occasionally the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve. Additional uh, cranial nerve palsies, ipsilateral to ophthalmoplegia, uh, can be included, included the optic nerve, mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve, and the facial nerve as well has been reported. There can be various combinations uh, localizing the pathological process to the region of the cavernous sinus or the superior orbital fissure. So, Tullosa Hunt is usually idiopathic and is thought to be a form of non-specific inflammation. However, traumatic injury, tumors, or an aneurysm can be potential triggers. Generally considered a self-limited illness, uh, sometimes with a relapsing and remitting course, sometimes bilateral. So, Dr. Eduardo Tullosa first described the pathophysiology and he said it was a non-specific chronic inflammation of the septum and walls of the cavernous sinus with proliferation of fibroblasts and infiltration with lymphocytes and plasma cells. Later on, seven years later, Hunt et al. then added that, you know, the inflammatory changes in tight connective tissue exerts pressure upon the penetrating nerves, hence we see the cranial nerve dysfunction that we do. So although there has not been a clear autoimmune etiology associated with Tullosa Hunt syndrome, it has been reported with other systemic and autoimmune inflammatory disorders, such as uh, SLE, sarcoidosis, and Wegener's granulomatosis. So MRI brain with contrast, especially looking at the coronal view, is a crucial diagnostic study. Blood and CSF studies should also be performed to rule out other causes of a painful ophthalmoplegia. Um, it should, Tullosa Hunt should be a diagnosis of exclusion. Uh, glutocorticoid response helps uh, not only with treatment, but as well diagnosis. Um, treatment with high doses of systemic steroids should lead to dramatic improvement in pain, usually within a few days and later on, cranial nerve dysfunction. Uh, also, you would see on repeat MR imaging, there is a reduction in the abnormal tissue volume and signal intensity on MRI. Uh, 